hot second since I made a talking video. But today I am going to do a little review on um, my experience at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Um, this is kind of like a first semester review because I have only been there for four months, which being in New York for four months, it's like you really only get kind of a taste of everything there is to offer. Um, so definitely not a complete review, but this is just kind of my thoughts on how everything has been going so far and like moving there and all of that kind of transition and everything. So hopefully this helps some of you guys who are maybe possibly thinking about going there or getting ready to gear up for college and everything. Um, and yeah, if I miss anything, which I'm sure I will, make sure to just comment below and I will answer the best I can. And let's get started. <laughs> preface um I moved to New York from the smallest not the smallest but a pretty small town in Colorado which is very much not like fashiony or busy at all and moving to New York the first few days were really challenging for me um I was definitely very emotional which I consider myself to be a very independent person um but even then it just like is such a huge transition which you should prepare yourself for if you are moving from a smaller town even a big town it's gonna be a huge change with like any college that you're gonna move to and any kind of move actually is gonna be a huge change but I would say moving from a smaller town to a big city like I did was the world of difference um so glad that I did make that move and you know, it's like with anything, every day it gets easier and the more like friends you make and the better times you're having, like you're gonna get used to it and you're gonna really love it. Some people don't like it. In my opinion, I really enjoy it. Um, I seriously like could not imagine moving away right now. Um, and like so excited to come back. I'm at home at break right now and I'm still, I'm just so excited to go back. Decided to dorm um, which I think was a really good idea I would totally recommend dorming to anyone who goes there for one you're gonna make a lot more friends you're gonna be more of like in the hustle and bustle of the school so there's a lot better chance of like meeting new people than like commuting and only coming for your classes and then leaving I chose alumni luckily I got a choice of where we're gonna live so I live in alumni which I have a dorm tour if you guys want to see it if you haven't seen it yet and glad I did that so we have a kitchen and everything which was a big deal breaker for me so I really like that that there are apartment style dorms which some colleges don't have stay in the dorms for a year I know it's pricey and like kind of overpriced but at the same time it's pretty worth it for your sanity and convenience because you have like everything on campus you have a gym that's free which is so nice like I probably will get fat when I move away <laughs> onto campus I know everyone says that everyone's like really unfriendly and it's really easy to get that impression from people but I think it's because you see a lot of like good-looking people who maybe like seem like they are like too good or something I don't know but I really have not had that much of a trouble of like people being rude or like not wanting to be friends with you or anything like that I would just say like when it comes to making friends it's not as easy as a normal school at all but if you're just open and try really hard in the first few weeks to like make some good connections with people that you will make friends that you like and you can hit up people like on Instagram and stuff which I know that I did and like talk to people and stuff that way which was which is cool that you can do that and it's like a pretty normal thing and also yeah I know a lot of people say that you won't really make friends in your classes. For me, that's been pretty different. Um, just I know I've made like some pretty good acquaintances in my classes, if not like good friends. Um, and that's just like by sitting with them and like chatting as the school year goes on. And so that way I haven't really found that people are that standoffish. Um, 
but that's just my personal opinion. I think just like being open to making new friends and you will make them. Really, clubs and things like that, you're gonna make friends in clubs if you decide to join them. I haven't yet, but I know a lot of people that have found some really good friends just in clubs and like participating and stuff like that. friends and stuff I know some people are concerned like oh there are no boys that go to FIT that's true aren't straight guys that go to FIT <laughs> just kidding there's like a few but um if you're really concerned about having a relationship and like ha being surrounded by boys all the time Probably not your best bet. Um, for me, I've never really been like one to focus on trying to be in relationships um, just because I am more of an independent person, but that being said, just like everything in New York, you kind of have to just, it's there, but you have to go out and search for it if you, it's something you really want. So I'm sure that if you go out and look, there are so many places you could meet someone. Boys are stupid though, but it's like you might find a cute one at FIT, like you just might, but it's just pretty rare, you know? <music> Along with friends and stuff, it is just a very different social life. I absolutely love it because I never wanted a normal college experience. Like my personality type, I didn't feel like that would make me the happiest and that has proven itself correct for sure. Um, so there aren't frat parties, there's not parties that you're gonna go to at FIT. Um, there are bunches of colleges in Manhattan and the New York area that you can go to their kind of parties. Even then, I haven't found that to be super fun or anything, but you can go clubbing, you can go to bars, you can go and just hang out with friends and walk around, you can go see the sights, like you can go to cool, like, concerts and stuff like in Brooklyn like there are seriously endless things that you can do on your Friday night that aren't like the traditional college experience if you're not looking for that then it's a great place to be if you are I would definitely think about if that's something that you want to give up because it's just really not it's not the same thing as going to a normal college but the city just since it's not a normal experience it's almost like you're kind of Becoming an adult a lot faster, I think. Um, it is my second year of college, so I'm a little bit um, more like set up, I would think. But it just forces you to become more independent than you already are. For me, I'm like normally a pretty assertive person, but in New York, you it's like tenfold of what I used to be. Um, and every day, that's like getting better and like becoming more independent, which I love. Um, just like seeing yourself grow every day because you're just put in situations that you just normally would not be anywhere else and you have to learn to do things on your own. As soon as you get there, it's almost like you're focusing on when you're going to graduate where I think when you're at a normal school, at least from my observations, it's kind of like college is like this box that you're in for a while and you don't really like have to climb out of it into adulthood until it's over, but at FIT, and just living in the city, it's like you're immediately thinking of what, like, when you can be interning, like, working, like, building your resume, like, all of that is just, I feel like, hits you with it, even like freshman year and everything from what people have said, that it's just a lot different and you're gonna grow up a lot faster. There is definitely kind of a hard thing. One of the hardest parts I've noticed about living in New York is just kind of the competitiveness. Which, really with anything, it's kind of like, it either makes you or breaks you, which, like they say, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Um, just because I've noticed, like, there's some days that I will wake up and just feel so depressed and, like, I'm not doing enough and, like, just get really down on myself. And it's really easy to compare yourself to other people because you're surrounded by millions of people trying to do their own thing and it's so easy to just like get so down on yourself and like I've noticed like some days just like my confidence just being so extremely low there and just like being at home and reflecting back on that I just have really realized like it's so important to just try and be happy for other people but also 
trying to better yourself every day, which is what I've been working on. On the other hand, it's also one of the most inspiring, probably the most inspiring place I've ever been to for like wanting to push myself and be better. And there are days that I'm like the happiest I've ever been in my entire life and just want to do great things and like don't let other things get me down and I think just being there the longer you are it's like easier to feel more confident in yourself and maybe just not that but just reminding yourself every day like to just do the best you can and like try to be happy for other people which is where I think a lot of like the idea of like cattiness comes along and like people being extremely competitive um which I think a lot of people are and it's really easy to see how that gets to people because it's it's a really hard environment to be in sometimes but also I think if you just realize it when it's happening and try to like be have a really good positive attitude you can really beat it and turn that competitive into such an amazing thing that will make you just achieve so much more than you would anywhere else <laughs> transfer student so that means that I am in my second year of college and I'm in the one-year program the transfer program I think is really cool at FIT um, if you're looking to save a little bit of money which I was because you can go straight into your major you take all of your major classes from what would have been the first and second year in just one year which is really cool I went to a local school, got all of my general credits done, and had scholarship to that school because FIT doesn't really give scholarship, unfortunately, for the most part. And so I had my school paid for last year. I already have all my general credits done, which are all transferred over, and you have to be careful about that. Definitely talk to counselors if you're planning on doing that about which uh, credits are actually going to transfer because that can be a real pain if you're paying for credits and then they don't transfer. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there because I know it was a big stress reliever for me that I had a, like one year that I'm not having to take out loans for. At first I didn't even consider doing that, I was so disappointed that I couldn't go right away, but in the long run I'm pretty happy that I decided to just take the year and go to a different school and then go eventually. I know it, it does kind of feel like you're like set back almost because you don't have that year that people like got, have gone and like been living in the city and doing all the like interning things like that but if you are crunched on money that is an option so I just thought I'd throw that out there because it did save me a lot. <music> Academic wise I have not found FIT to be the most challenging school. I, I was taking all intro classes pretty much like classes you take as a freshman and I took a macroeconomics class my freshman year of college and pretty much what I learned in that one class covered what I was learning in four different classes which I found kind of frustrating that I learned more in one class at a different college than in four at another. I think just the intro classes are a lot of things that you kind of already know. Is someone nice because you have professors like that work have worked in the like industry I say that in quotation marks because sometimes like having teachers that are more like interested in name dropping like who they have worked with and like actually teaching you the material is something I have found. On the other hand I have had multiple teachers that I really enjoyed having. They taught me a lot and I just enjoyed their classes so I think it really is just like a hit or miss with professors as well just kind of at any school so I would like definitely check out who you are going to have as professors, um, but also I think it will get more challenging as it goes on, so that's why I kind of say this is a first semester thing and I will probably do another one of these videos once I've done a full year. And yeah, so I'll have my associates by the end of this year, which is really cool, so it's pretty much going there for a year, you have your associates and then you can go on to get your bachelors, which is pretty cool. Um, but I definitely just think applying yourself as anywhere else is really important. Um, I know I could have, I did really well in all of my classes, but if I would have just read the textbook a little bit more, I would have more of a knowledge base that I could like take with me instead of just like skimming by, which you could, you can skim by in the classes that I had, but it's just really up to you if you want to or not. For the price point though, it is a really good school. Um, it's 
ranked one of the best like fashion schools so you have that name which is always really good to have a good name underneath you. Definitely something I've been thinking about that I just thought I'd throw out if you are interested in fashion. I do know a lot of people that don't go to fashion school and they end up having jobs in fashion. So just a thought about that is you don't have to go to fashion school to work in fashion. Being in the city I think is like the coolest part about going to FIT because you have all of the things about the city at your disposal pretty much so you can be interning and learning and like constantly working at these cool places that you really could not do anywhere else. So I think that's pretty worth it. And just like my favorite part about being in the city is just how much you change for four months but that's just like such a drop in the bucket of how much there is to do and experience and I just can't imagine living anywhere else at this point in my life. Um, it's just one of the coolest places in the world to live if you can get over some of the shitty parts about it like smelly things and crazy people um, which really isn't that bad. I honestly feel safer in New York most of the time than I do at home which is like a small little town. Like, I really don't ever feel threatened for the most part, other than, like, big things, but my fashion has, sense has definitely changed, and, like, I can feel myself growing every day, like, develop, when it comes to developing your own personal style, I think being in New York is one of the best things you can do, or just any big city, because you're getting, you're taking in so much from other people and, like, inspiration, but also taking that and molding it into, like, who you want to be. And just because I really think fashion like reflects who you are as a person and so for me it's like I haven't fully developed it's like I'm developing it every single day I definitely recommend FIT as a school I think that it's really good to look into all of your options and what is gonna be best for you it's not like a normal college but you do have a lot of really cool trade-offs with that being said I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to touch on if you have any questions about anything else I'd seriously be so happy to answer them comments I might do like a Q&A if you guys have more comments and like more specific things than what I've actually talked about um, or just I might just do a Q&A pretty soon here if you want me to um, so if you guys have enough like questions down below I'll probably do one um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and helped you out a little bit on your college journey, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.